If you want to learn how to master the quick selection tool in Photoshop, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. The quick selection tool is one of the easiest tools to make selective adjustments, cut out backgrounds, or select your subjects. And the way it works is you can literally paint a selection onto your image and Photoshop will find any edges in your photo and automatically snap your selection to those edges. Let me show you how it works here. You can access the quick selection tool by pressing W on your keyboard, or you can find it right here within your toolbar. In the upper settings bar, there are a few different settings to look at, but there's not really much that you need to adjust. By default, you'll be set to this mode, which means you are creating a new selection. You also have some basic brush settings that you don't really need to worry about except for the size adjustment because the size will control how large your selection brush will be. I would recommend having a smaller selection brush when going near really small and fine details versus using a larger selection brush when you are just selecting a general area. Area. An easier way to change the size of your brush is to use the right and left arrow keys on your keyboard to scale your brush up or down accordingly. Finally, you have two settings called Sample All Layers and Enhance Edge. The Sample All Layers will only be useful to you if you're trying to make a selection on a blank layer or you want to make a selection of multiple layers at a time. As for the Enhance Edge, I'd recommend checking this one because it will just give a slightly better cutout if you're trying to remove the background of your image. Now, if you are trying to just select a subject, there is a new button with this tool that just makes life super easy, and it's this select subject button. So when the quick selection tool is active, you will see it up here. You can just press on that, and Photoshop will automatically find the subject in your photo and select it for you like so. From there, you can click the layer mask icon to remove the background, and now you have cut out your image. Now, if you wanted to do this manually, I'll press Command or Control D to deselect that. All you'd have to do is just click and drag over your subject like so to paint the selection where you would like it to be. Now, as you can see, as I paint around my photo, Photoshop automatically snaps the selection to the edges that it thinks I want to select. And in this case, I did a pretty good job. I'm gonna continue to go around the edge here like so. And then of course get a little bit of her shirt as well. Now if there's ever an instance where Photoshop accidentally selects more than you were looking for, such as this, you can hold Alt or Option. And then by holding that key and painting over your selection, it will erase that area and then snap it to another edge that you are wanting instead. So then you'll still have a nice selection even if Photoshop has made a mistake. From there, you can once again add a layer mask and your background has been removed super easily. So the quick selection tool is great for selecting subjects and removing backgrounds, but it can also be used to create selective adjustments in your photos. For example, in this image here, let's say I want to add an adjustment just to the sky. Well, using my quick selection tool, once again, accessing the tool by pressing W or finding it here in the toolbar, I can go and paint over the sky to select it in my image. And since it selected a bit of my mountains here in the background that I don't want to select, I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and then just paint over that to remove that area from my selection. That way I'll have a nice clean selection of the sky without anything else being affected. Now with that selection created, we can go and apply an adjustment layer and it will automatically apply that selection onto the layer mask of that adjustment. So for example, let's click on the curves adjustment layer here. And now that selection is automatically applied to this layer mask. And on this layer mask, anything that is white will be 100% affected while everything that is black will not be affected by these adjustments. So that means I can use my curves adjustment layer here to change the exposure or the contrast of my sky without affecting anything else in my photo. So this is another great way of using the quick selection tool in Photoshop to selectively adjust parts of your image if you're not just wanting to remove a background. Now, if you're trying to learn Photoshop, there are six essential tips that I think everybody should know about and I share them in my free ebook called the Photoshop Blueprint. You can get access to that down below totally for free and it has a few really helpful tips that anyone trying to learn Photoshop will get a lot of use out of. Anyways, my name's Brendan from bewillcreative.com. And if you're wanting to learn more selection methods and background removal options in Photoshop, make sure to click the video right here to check out some more options for cutting out images here in Photoshop.